So MEMS is all about supporting research students and researchers to solve global energy problems. One of those problems is actually in the emerging economies of the Asia Pacific and beyond. One of the opportunities to address those issues is through our student bodies. The Engineers Without Borders program can enable us to send our best researchers, our best students, to try and help those communities and solve those energy problems. What inspired this event in this form was we noticed that hackathons and design hacks were quite a popular form of event, but we wanted to give it a unique sort of EWB spin and have it focus on a real world context, have it focus on human centered design, appropriate technology, and sort of separate it out from the kind of events that are run and are quite popular on campus and give it our own sort of spin. Uh, what I most enjoyed about the event today was seeing the high quality presentation that came from the students. I had a short, sharp three minutes to deliver a complex idea or solution to a complex uh, problem and seeing the quality of the thinking that came out of the students was excellent today. As the winners of this event we look forward to working with the generator at Monash University to have further develop the viability of our model and hopefully take it to the Indian community and the international community. The reason I wanted to do this was uh, for some practical engineering experience. I so far haven't really had much and it was sort of nice. Uh, once again, it was a, like, a multidisciplinary area. It's, I get to talk to a lot of environmental engineers, but not often do I get to integrate with many other disciplines. Giving undergraduate students the opportunity to ideate, to workshop their ideas, to get feedback, and then give them that challenge to present it, I think is very unique and that is basically one of our focuses is to create unique experiences for our members.